Hey, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R620 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on power supplies. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R620 server. Do us a favor if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's get rolling. So this video is going to be, uh, honestly, probably one of the shortest ones in the series. Uh, it's going to be about power supplies. Uh, there's only really a couple of different options. There's the uh, 495 watt, there's the 750 watt, and the 1100 watt. We'll come up and get a good shot of it for you so you can see the actual power supplies. They're hot swap. Uh, we'll show you how to install them, but it's uh, honestly, it's a very easy installation process because it's hot swap. You can do it while it's live. So if one year, uh, if you have redundant power supplies and one of them fails, uh, you don't need to take the server down to swap them out. Uh, that might be a question that someone has at home. Uh, so we'll actually show you how to uh, install it here in a second, but let's uh, go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll come in and we'll show you the different options. All right, so here are your different options, 495, 750, and 1100 watt. Uh, all are good options. I personally recommend having at least 750, uh, but to each their own, depending on what your application is. I will note you do need to make sure uh, whatever you have in your system are the same. So if you're doing redundant, um, they do need to be either 2495 or 2750 or 2100. Uh, make sure that they are the same, okay? So now we'll go ahead and we will actually uh, install one of these, which again is a very, very simple process, but wanted to show you at home how to do it. Nonetheless, let's get going. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, install one and take one out right now. So let's say the second one is bad. Uh, you'll notice they're both 750, so we need to, again, replace it with a 750 to make sure that we have the same wattage. So you're just going to take this orange clip, you're going to push it in, and then you're going to pull out this way. Sometimes it can get a little snug, so you have to kind of pull it hard a little bit. Uh, so 750, we're going to take this and we're going to replace this with a, another 750. So when you slide it in, it's very simple. Uh, it'll, you don't even have to put the orange, thing, uh, orange clip down. It'll clip into place. Uh, it can help to put it down, but again, it'll just clip back into place, and it's just that easy. It's a very, very simple installation. Uh, the main key that I would say is just make sure you have the same wattage in both of your power supplies, okay? So if you're looking to uh, replace a bad power supply or you need, need to build a custom server, whether that's a 620 or even if it's Supermicro, HPE, Cisco, you name it, uh, we build all sorts of servers and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center's business. Do us a favor and email us at sales at cloudinners.com. That's sales at cloudinners.com. And if you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. Thanks for stopping by, guys.